I, I tend to make things that are um, very achievable. For example, where I'm doing a painting workshop, I'll make it abstract in the sense of they don't have to draw an orange and make it look like an orange. They can just enjoy playing with colour and um, just seeing what, what the medium will do. With the Talking Trees project, um, in collaboration with the uh, Simon Langton Girls' School, we were making together a paper mache tree just to get the residents involved in group activities and make it easier for the girls to interact with um, the older generation. So it was quite nice to see how, how the friendships grew and I think everyone benefited from it. And I made the labels instead of leaves as an idea uh, to hang on the tree so they could put their own memories or thoughts or things they would like to pass on to um, the uh, younger generation and their history that, the, um, that each person has but you don't necessarily hear because you haven't got time to talk to this person or that person. Like when I was working with Homestart with the vulnerable women, again I just did things abstract so that they could just enjoy what they were doing and, and you'd see how the pictures would change depending how their mood was um, and um, they were very sceptical at first but as the weeks went on they trusted me more and, and really uh, produced some wonderful things. stunning work it really was and it was nice that sort of what I was able to give them just by showing them what to do with materials they could use their own creativity to produce what they did and it was it was it was amazing stuff <laughs>